Hey guys, long time no see. Uh, life has been a little bit crazy lately, so I haven't been able to do these tutorials like I'd like, but I recently had a student message me a question and I was feeling well, so I decided this would be a perfect opportunity to kind of get back into it. So let's jump right in. As you can see here, I already have my file open, which is called Emily's Bunny Tag, but we don't see anything on the screen. This is one of the recent issues that we've run into uh, with the latest update of Silhouette. Let's see what version that is. We are 4.3.372. So when you go to save your file, the easiest fix that I've found is to go ahead and select your items. See, it's hidden right there. <laughs> you want to go to your open the line style panel. And then you'll want to make sure that this box right here is selected. Print lines of selected shapes. Have everything selected in your file. Select that box before you click save and you will be good to go. This is especially important if you're selling files because you could attach this you know, to your Etsy listing and they open it up and it looks like a blank file. And it's not, but it can appear so to many. So you wanna select that. And then to fix it right now, all we need to do is go in and add the red line shape to it. Now let's go ahead and dive in and see what's going on. So she messaged me and told me that she made this bunny tag and was having difficulty in getting the name to weld to her bunny shape. So let's figure out why. So I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup this as much as I can. Select this. Okay, now we've ungrouped as far as we can go. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and release the compound path so we can kind of look at what's going on. So I already see one issue and there's these two little boxes right here and this is likely around some nodes or lines that we don't want or need. And to me, they honestly just look extra. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete them. I'm gonna left click and then drag. And then now I'm going to hit shift to unselect the shapes I don't want. <laughs> I think I'm zoomed in too far because now I can't see what other things I have selected. Let's try this again. Drag, okay, and then unselect there. And where else, maybe here? There we go, and then delete. Do the same thing over here, it's over here. Hold down, shift, unselect, unselect, there we go, and delete. Now, if we double click this line, to open our node editing point editing panel, you'll see that these two red dots indicate uh, an open path. This path is not closed. And because that path is not closed is the reason she cannot weld the name to her shape. We click here, here's a couple more. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and close those paths. And it's actually pretty easy. When you have two paths right next to each other and you honestly just click <laughs> the little red dot, they'll connect to each other. Sometimes you need to make a little bit of an adjustment, but overall, once they're close to each other, they will connect to another close open path. So first we're going to select all of this, right click, make compound path, and then we're going to double click this again and see here are all the paths that we need to close. So let's go ahead and zoom in as much as we can. Oops. And then if I just click this one, and there we go, it's closed. Do that again. That one's closed. And you saw it adjusted it a little bit, but it's so minimal and it didn't really mess up the shape of her Easter tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. So let's just click the rest of them. There's another one here, another one here, and here, and here. Let's see if we got them all. Oh, there's a couple, there's one right there. Let's zoom out and see if we can find any others. Nope, 
I think we're good. So now let's go to the name and double click that the point editing panel doesn't open. So it might be because it's not a compound pass. I'm going to ungroup it as far as it'll go. Now I'm going to reselect everything, make it a compound path. There we go. Okay, so before we weld this, I'm gonna make a slight adjustment. It's strongest when you can get as many points connected as possible. And since we're really close on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and make Emily a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna select that. Pull it down just a little bit there. And now we're overlapped on like four corners, so it's going to be pretty sturdy. And as you see here, she's already welded the dot of her eye here because otherwise you would lose that. Now it does look like she has a backer over here, and so she didn't necessarily have to attach the eye, but it does make it easier because now you're not fishing this little eye out of your crumb tray or whatever. So... Before I weld it, I'm going to do one more thing. So when I weld names to a shape like this, I like to add score lines because it really helps with definition. And I'll kind of show you why. So if I select the name and hold down shift and now actually select the bunny shape, we right click and weld, you lose a lot. You can still see that it says Emily, but you really do lose some of that detail by welding it to that outer shape. So I'm going to undo that. And before we weld it, I'm going to control C, copy, control F for paste in front. And then we're going to weld that to the bunny shape. Right click, weld. And so you see here that it's like where it's a little bit darker red. That is where the, the two names are overlapping each other. But here is where we're going to do some editing, some node editing, and make those into score lines. So when she cuts this, you'll still see that detail of the full name of Emily, but only this middle part is cut. So to help me do that, I like to change the color of the line that I'm going to be doing the scoring of. So select blue, and then zoom in. We're going to double click. I'm going to add a node here. I'm going to break the path. Add a node here. Break path. And then do it all the way around. to get that score line. Okay, I think we're done. Now we're going to delete all of the nodes in the middle that we do not need anymore because those will be a cut line. The easiest way for me is just select one and then just hold down delete and let it do its thing. Now, obviously you wanna make sure that you have your blue score line selected and not your red cut line because in my course there was people who would accidentally select this back, the backer where it's welded and now you have basically unconnected your cut line and that's the line we wanna keep. And for some reason, I either forgot to break the path or it reconnected on me. So we need to zoom in real quick before deleting this last line. Click on that. I'm going to break path. See if it reconnects, it does. So sometimes when this happens, uh, I don't really know why, but one way that I kind of trick the system is I will either add another node here, try again, sometimes it's just not enough nodes, I don't know. 
like this again. Nope, it's gone again. So it's one of those, <laughs> one of those pesky nodes. So I'm going to actually add another node right next to it. And for some reason, that tends to work for me. And then if I need to, I can shorten or delete this last node that I just created that is a little bit longer after the fact. So let's see. Oh, that reconnected as well. This is just toying with me because I'm trying to do a tutorial and it does not want to cooperate. All right, so my normal tricks are not working, which are to add an extra node. This isn't the case here, but sometimes if there's only two nodes, it's not enough for something, I'm not sure. But sometimes add an extra node and then I try re-breaking that path and then, <laughs> and now it works. And I'll probably cut it out, but I tried that several times. So maybe Silhouette is just messing with me. But either way, we finally got it. So I'm gonna just delete while it's working. <laughs> and I actually need to pull this node just a tiny bit because it's a little short there we go much better oh this one's a little short too although this probably wouldn't be an issue when you go to cut it I'm a little bit of a perfectionist so I can't leave it and there you go so here's where you can see the difference between just welding it or actually adding that score line it, it adds a little bit more dimension but we're good to go. Before I save this and send this back to Tara, along with this video, I'm gonna double check and make sure her backer is good too. So let's double click, nope, ungroup. And yes, so we actually have some unconnected nodes here too. So let's make that a compound path, double click, and let's close these. All right, we should be good to go. And now we have a cute little bunny tag. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope to have many more of these soon and have a good week. Bye.